In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get all the clothing items that are available within the first few days of landing on the island, meaning you don't need a key card or something extra to get them. So come along with me and let's grab the most easily accessible clothing items in Sons of the Forest. Okay, so first thing, I crash landed on the mountaintop and Calvin and I are wearing our tactical jackets already. So that is like one piece that we already have covered. But the next item of clothing that I think is the closest is the hoodie. And that is actually kind of directly below us, just below the summit here. So I'm gonna get out of the snow and we're gonna head down to the shovel cave. That is an easy marker on the GPS that's fairly close to where the hoodie is. Okay, so now that we're at the shovel cave, we're gonna take this tributary that's directly in front of us all the way down until it starts to pool. I'll have it circled on the GPS, but it's kind of at the top of the screen. So we're gonna take that down. And at that point, there is a cannibal camp. So we're just gonna meet up over there. Okay, so we made it down and in front of me is the pool I was talking about. To the right is the cannibal camp and the hoodie is located underneath one of the tents. So we're gonna head into camp and the hoodie is located underneath this first tent here. <laughs> And we're in the first day, so the cannibals are fairly docile right now. We haven't attacked any of them. So they'll acknowledge your existence, but I don't think they'll actually go after you. So feel free to loot some of the items that are at the camp. Um, we're gonna take the night five so that our transportation to the other locations are a little bit quicker. And we're gonna just hop on over to the other side of the river to discuss the next location. So we cross the river and the next location we're gonna head to is where to find the winter jacket. And so I'm gonna make a right at this junction and I'm gonna follow the path a little bit until we get to an area where the location of the winter jacket is easy to find when I zoom in on the GPS. Okay, so we followed the path, crossed some rivers, and now the lake that is directly in front of me is where the winter jacket is, so we're just gonna head over there. Okay, so we are here. This location has a massive waterfall and then a couple of tents that are across the way. The winter jacket is in one of those tents and I'm gonna drop my night bee and swim across because the water is too deep to swim with the night bee in hand. If you swim across with your night bee, you'll end up dropping it because it's too deep and it'll be a pain in the butt to try to get it out of the river. And again, this is just what it looks like on the GPS when we zoom it in. And the winter jacket is in this tent here. Now, you'll notice that the sun is going down. There's a couple items to loot, not only within this campsite, but there's some crates over by the waterfall. And then there are also some crates that you could loot that are just across the river. So you might as well just get some looting done and then you could actually sleep in one of the tents. So we'll start up again on day two and we'll go to the next location. Okay, so it's the next day and the next clothing item we're gonna get is the red mask. So we're gonna head over to the rope gun cave. I'll have that circled on the GPS. So just make your way over there. Okay, so now we're at the rope gun cave. We are gonna take the path that is to the right if you're looking at the lake across from the entrance of the rope gun cave. And we're just gonna follow that for a little bit. And this should be the last time I take you to a halfway point before we get to the actual location of the clothing item. It's just that this map is so large and the items we just got are so spaced apart that it made the most sense to me. After we get the red mask, we should be taking more direct routes because the distance between each item isn't so lengthy. Okay, so we're at the path junction and we are gonna head towards that very large river meander. And once we bump into the river, we're gonna look for some golf carts or really it's just one golf cart. So make your way to the golf cart and on the passenger side of the golf cart is a cave. You'll wanna enter the cave. So you'll want to just get yourself out of this crevice here and then once you get yourself out you'll see that there's a room directly in front of us you'll head to the 3d printer where the computer screen is and get your red mask and to use this printer you want to just toggle using r to go through the various items once you see the mask hit e and hold and you'll get it printed up and there you go there's your mask so you again could do some looting around here but we're gonna head out of here and get to the next location. So we are on the western side of the beach that has the raft. 
and we're just gonna follow along continuing west along the coast until we get to a small little cove with some kayaks. So this location here is where we're gonna find the camo suit for Virginia. And this is what it looks like on the map. The exclamation point in the middle of the water is where the raft was. So we traveled all the way along the coast to this location and there are the kayaks. And the camo suit is in the kayak that's closest to the water. Now the next location we're gonna grab the blazer and so we're gonna get off of the beach and follow the path all the way to the path that forms a circle. So now we're at that path that forms a circle and in the middle is a sunken mass grave. And in one of these open coffins, there is the blazer. Okay, so it's this one here. Okay, so next we're gonna get the leather jacket and that is inside the cave that's at the beach or the rebreather cave. So we'll see you there next. We made it to the cave on the beach and I'd set the night five away from the cave entrance because I've had it happen where it despawned if you set it close enough to the entrance. So just keep that in mind. Now there will be some creepies that will have to fight in order to get to where the leather jacket is, but this can get done on day two with minimum weapons. So just come along with me and we'll get through it. So again, when you enter the cave, you could do some looting in this area and get the GPS location that's on the laptop. But because this video is focused on getting items of clothing, we're just going to continue on. Okay, so down in this chamber here is the first part where you're going to encounter some creepies. There's going to be probably about three to four puppies and at least one fingers. So you're going to jump on down there and just kick their butts. Easy peasy, right? So once you clear out that chamber, you want to head down the corridor that has the light on it. And you're going to travel through it for quite a bit of time until it opens up just a little bit and there will be some chests that you can loot. At that point, there might be one or two puppies that you encounter and so again, you just want to get rid of them and you're going to continue on down the corridor. And as you go down the corridor, it will open up just a little bit and you'll encounter two puppies and a finger. And it is at this location that you could take a little bit of a detour. Basically to the left, you'll find an entrance that's uh, boarded up and you could take a rope down to get the artifact. But since this video is just focused on the clothing items, we're going to continue on down the corridor to get the leather jacket. So after you kick these guys' butts, further down the corridor, we'll be encountering a couple of babies, and then it's smooth sailing after that. Okay, so we just cleared out the chamber with the babies and we started to continue on through the corridor. Now we see the red light and this is a dead end. Um, we'll have to backtrack as soon as we get the leather jacket, but it's hanging on the ceiling of the cave right there. And since you're here, you might as well get the stun gun. And so yeah, that's how you get the leather jacket. So we're gonna backtrack now. You could go into the other chamber to get the rebreather, but for the purposes of this video, We'll see you outside. Okay, so it was nighttime when we emerged from the cave. So we slept in the tent that's just behind us here, and that's located on the opposite end of the beach where the cave is. So we're on day three, and the last item of clothing that we're gonna get are the pajamas. And we're gonna head towards the cove that's just at the top of the screen on the GPS. And we'll meet you by the boats. Okay, so we're by the boats, and the pajamas are in the boat closest to the waterfall. And you're gonna head towards the back, and just before you reach the dead cultist, basically the pajamas are on the bed that's on the left hand side. So there you go. Within your first few days of starting your game in Sons of the Forest, you can get these items of clothing with the bare minimum supplies. I will post the second part of this tutorial on the locations of the rest of the clothing items and update the description box on this video when that video becomes available. 
other than that, my name is Heather, and thank you for letting me put my game on for you. Like and subscribe if you want to hear more from me, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!